Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the police or IAA belt onto any outfit. If you experience any issues when performing this glitch then please do make sure that you read the pinned comment which is down below. Also if you enjoy the video then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and you can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated. But with all of that being said we are now ready to get onto the actual glitch. Firstly I'd like to say that this is for male characters and it will delete all of your outfits so please do make sure that you are wearing your favourite one as you can save it later on. To begin, load into a public free mode session and press the start button. Now go over to the online tab and we're going to load up creator. From here we're going to create a race and select land race. We're now going to need to go through the basic stuff like a title, description and a photo. It doesn't really matter what you call it, just make sure it's something that you're going to remember later on. As for the lobby photo, simply take a picture of anything and then we're ready to move on. Now head down to where it says root type and you're going to select point to point. Now press back, go into placement and place trigger. You can place the trigger wherever you like but I would recommend putting it on something like a large open road. Whatever you decide to do, you're then going to press back once again, go into lobby camera and take another picture. At this point we're then going to go into checkpoints to start building the actual race. Just as a side note, your race might not be in the same location as mine, which is absolutely fine. However, I would advise that you make the race about 0.8 miles long. Okay, so now that we have put all of our checkpoints down, you're then going to go back and go down to where it says test. As the name implies, we're now just going to test the race that we have set up. You won't have to do anything special here apart from complete the race. Upon completion, you will then get this message where you'll then press OK to return to the creator. Right, so now you need to make sure that you save the race before we continue. If you mess up the glitch you'll need to restart from this point onwards and it is worth mentioning that you do not need to recreate this race as we now have it saved. Now go down to exit and you're going to press ok to quit to the creator menu. Ok so this is the point where the glitching actually begins. When the creator menu loads up you're then going to press start and go back over to the online tab but this time we're going to go down to where it says choose character. I've decided to speed up the transitions in this video so that you don't have to watch them but once this loads up you're then going to go over to create new character. Unfortunately, if you already have a second character then you will need to delete it. Also, if your main character happens to be in the second character slot then this glitch will not work for you. The main male character has to be in the first slot. Now that we've got that out of the way, you're now going to continue with creating a new character. If possible then I would advise that you copy your main rank over to this new character so that you don't have any issues buying anything. At this stage, all you need to do is make sure that the character is a female and then you're going to go down to where it says save and continue. Once you've put a name and taken a photo, it will then load you down into a public free mode session. I'm quickly just going to go through a problem that you might encounter just because it happened to me. If you go into that public free mode session and you can't see any of the clothing stores, then just simply find a new session. Of course that won't always happen, but if it does then that is the solution to it. As you can see, the clothing stores have now reappeared once I finally load in. The next step is to then head over to the nearest clothing store. Before we continue, if the character that you have just created has spawned in with any additional glasses, earrings or hats, then please do make sure that you remove them now. With that being done, we're then going to head over to the top section and we're going to go into the leather jackets category. From here we're going to be purchasing the orange padded leather jacket which is the first one on the list. Next we're going to back out and go down to where it says gun running t-shirts. Go down to the bottom and purchase the blue digital t-shirt. After purchasing those two tops, we're then going to back out and head over to the shoe section. Head into running shoes and we're going to purchase the mono retro runners. Now back out of shoes and we're going to need to head over to the pants section. As we're walking, I'd just like to say that all of these components are essential so please do not change them. In sports pants, we're going to purchase the spotted muscle pants. Lastly, we're then going to back out and head over to the accessory section. Now that we're browsing, we're going to go into the gloves category and from here we're going to purchase the light woodland tactical. After purchasing all of those, you're then going to need to make sure that you save the outfit before we continue. As you can see, I called my outfit militated. Also make sure that you save it in the first outfit slot. We're now ready to move on to the next step, so you're going to back out of accessories and press the start button. Head over to the online tab and start up creator like we did before. This time though we're going to go into load creation, go into saved and start up the race that we saved a couple of minutes ago. Obviously I drastically sped that up but once the menu has finally loaded you're then going to go back down to where it says test. Like I said previously you don't have to do anything special here apart from run the race again. If your race is 0.8 miles like I recommended then it should only take you about 30 seconds. After you finish you're then going to press ok to return to the creator. 
Now this is where it differs from before. We're now going to press the start button and go back over to the online tab. Again, go down to choose character and select that. If you're doing this on PC, then you will need a controller to bring up the start menu as the escape key will not do it. Now that the character selection screen has loaded up, you're going to go over to the female character and you are going to now delete it. As expected, you are going to have to write the word delete, but then it's going to take about 15 seconds to actually delete the character. After it's been deleted, it will then take you back to the character selection screen, but do not select a character. Instead, you're going to look at the bottom right corner of your screen and you're going to press whichever button makes you return to Grand Theft Auto 5. This will then take you up into the clouds and load you back into the story mode. Whenever you're able to, you're then going to press the start button and go back over to the online tab. Now just go down to play GTA Online and find a session. If you get a connection error or something like that, then all you need to do is again find a new session once you've loaded back into story mode. Okay, so now that we're in an online session, you're now going to need to head over to the nearest clothing store which was conveniently right next to me. If you're wearing your favourite outfit like I mentioned at the start, then make sure that you head over to the outfit section and save it before you continue. If you look at your first outfit slot, you can now see that it says militated, which is what I saved on my female character. However, do not try to equip that outfit. Instead, you're going to take this time to now build the outfit that you want the police belt on. As a side note, do not try to equip a utility vest or something because that will not work. Press the start button, go to online and go down to jobs. From here, go into play jobs and go to rockstar created. Now go down to the versus category and we're going to select crooked cop. Chances are that you won't find a game because no one actually plays it, so you're going to have to host your own lobby. When it does eventually load and you're on the settings screen, you're then going to need to go down to where it says clothing and you're going to select player owned. If you've joined somebody else's lobby and the clothing is not on player owned, then you will need to find a new one. After that, you're then going to confirm the settings and you're going to now need to try to get one other person. As I had no friends online, I did have to use the matchmaking which did take quite a while. But once someone does decide to join, you're then going to press play and wait until you get to the clothing selection screen. So you should be wearing the outfit that you want to put the police belt on. You're now going to go down to change outfit and scroll along to the one that we saved on the female character. In my case, it's the one called Militated. If you happen to equip the wrong outfit, then just go back to where it says current and press right to get to the female outfit. Once the mission has loaded, you're then going to bring up the interaction menu and go down to where it says bike helmet. From here, they're going to start scrolling through for a couple of seconds and then go down to Helmet Visor and do the same thing. Lastly, you're then going to go up to where it says Parachute, go down to Bag and start scrolling through those for a few seconds. Having done all of that, you're then going to close the interaction menu, bring up the phone, go into Job List and quit the job. As expected, that's then going to load you down into a public free mode session where you're then going to need to head over to the nearest clothing store. You should also notice that you still have the outfit on with the police belt. When you get to the clothing store, you're then going to head over to the outfit section and make sure that you save the outfit. If you want the belt on another outfit, then just simply start up Crooked Cop again and do the same thing, but just with a different outfit. Just before we finish up, I just want to mention that you can now change anything about the outfit apart from the top. If you want to change the top, then you're going to have to glitch the belt back onto it with the Crooked Cop mission. Unfortunately though, you cannot use things like utility vests as it will make the belt disappear. If you then try to glitch the belt on, then it will make the vest disappear. Like I said at the start of the video, if you have any issues with this glitch or if it does not work for you, then please do make sure that you read the pinned comment down below. You have to remember that this is a glitch and it's not going to work 100% of the time, so you might need to try it once or twice more. If you do need to try it again, then you only need to start from the point where you've saved the race. Apart from that, we are now done. Again, you can follow my Instagram, which is officialmilitated, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next GTA Online video.